I'm Val Cole, and this is Hamilton Life. On the show today, the Escarpment Blues Society are here promoting their official launch event. It's very exciting. Theater Aquarius, my favorite theater, is welcoming their 51st season. And they've got an all-star lineup. We're going to tell you all about that. And we're going to pump you up. Personal fitness trainer expert Barry Vincent is here with some effective workouts that can be done each day in your home and in less time than you think. First off, the Escarpment Blues Society is having their official launch event. This is very exciting, brand new. It's happening at the Ancaster Memorial Arts Center. What is it, first of all? Let's talk about what it is, because you guys are brand new. Brand new, the Escarpment Blues Society is uh, a society that came together very organically. There was tons of people like Bob and several other people on the board that have been doing a lot of amazing work in our community. And um, I think it all started that everybody said, well, wait a minute, you're doing something, I'm doing something, let's all get together, start a society that can make some real change and support musicians that are coming through town, right both on. international musicians as well as local people as well. I can tell by the hat, you are in fact a musician, I am. right? That is I a prerequisite to wear a funky hat. <laughs> what do you play? What do I play? Yeah. I play guitar and I sing. And, um, yeah, I'm a Juno Award winning. <gasps> so exciting. In fact, you're one of many. Uh, Juno Award winners in this lineup of performers that you've got for the day. I mean, it's going to be fantastic. So it's happening on May 28th. Yeah. And look at these amazing people. What are we going to experience that day? Well, I think that um, it's incredible that we had this lineup and everybody that yeah. we reached out to from the Escarpment Blue Society, um, everyone immediately said yes. They were each person they were just thrilled to do it and this was like a wish list for us to get these people so uh, it's going to be incredible and everybody's going to do their own thing and it's going to be constantly different artists coming in and off all backed by the great EBS band. Does that, oh so the band will stay? Correct. correct. Okay because that would be a nightmare wouldn't it having to shift all the instruments on and off yeah. but the band stays and then the, the singers come and go. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Bob what are you going to be doing that day? Um, I'll be doing whatever they tell me to do. I'm usually <laughs> running around the place. So. That's, uh, my, my, I'm a promoter anyway, so. What, yeah, so you're talking to someone for the first time and you're telling them about this event. What do you think is the thing to be pushing the most? Uh, about the show itself? Yeah. I mean, you can have like, uh, I don't know, there's six or seven Juno winners here. Uh, all in one show? That's, <laughs> it's unheard of. That's pretty incredible. Um, yeah. And it's coming up in May. The, um, the Ancaster Memorial Arts Center itself, I think, is new as well, isn't it? It is, yes. So it's a great space. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. We've, we've, we've done some Christmas shows there. We have. We've like been that. very fortunate to, to work there on several different shows. It's a world-class facility. It really is. It's, it's amazing. And all the staff there are always great. And uh, they're, they're really helping us as well. Like, as soon as we, we reached out to them and Colin Lapsley and everybody that works there, we said, we want to do this thing. And they said, great, let's make it happen. So they're being really good to us as well. Are the acoustics good? It's they're yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's an awesome. Good. So uh, for, <clears throat> as, a, as a listener, it's just going to be an amazing sound and, and uh, audio experience. Are we going to, uh, is there going to be stuff to eat or drink? What else can we experience that day? Well, there's definitely going to be stuff to drink there at the bar. There'll be stuff to drink. Sure. The bar will be that, open. Yeah, yes. um, well, we're not going to have, we might have some VIP experience um, that we're still sort of working through. We've got a little bit of time before the big day, but uh, there's going to be lots going on, that's for sure. What's the benefit for being part of this um, organization? Hmm, for me? I don't know. I've, I've been putting shows together for 15, 20 years. And it's more just, uh, I've always liked working with musicians and... The goal is to obviously try and make them uh, paid well, mm. and uh, that's why we generally do all ticketed events and stuff like that, not free stuff. So. Yeah, and, and obviously we want we want members to. There's several perks that the memberships are, are they're going to get. They're going to find out about shows. They're going to get discounts at uh, various shows that we're doing. And this is just the first one of several that we're going to be doing and supporting. So. It's a, it's a very exciting new society. Right on. Mm -hmm. All those benefits that you speak of, they can get more information on the website, right? Yep, they can sign up directly on the website. And uh, we also want to say thank you to all our sponsors. There's several people in the community that have already sponsored the event, and we hope that uh, we'll have their support moving forward as well. Tim Hortons jumps on everything, don't they? They're fantastic. They are great. They are, um, I, I was really, really pleased, uh, my friend Ryan Matadol actually set that all up for us. So uh, to all our sponsors, we've got Titan Blades, out of the Barracks, and uh, we have Stephen Dunn as well. Doors open at 7 p.m. 
Come in uh, around 7, grab your seat, grab a drink from the bar. Yep. And then the show starts, it says, around 7.30. Do you guys actually think you'll be on time? We'll be on time because yeah. we've got all these great performers that we need to get to. So we'll make sure that uh, everything is on time and, and people are going to have a fantastic night. And tickets are on sale yeah. now. Where, uh, where are you in the lineup for that night? I'm going to be more of the uh, musical director okay. for the evening. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll be on stage with several of these. Uh, I'm lucky enough that these are all really good friends of mine and we've all worked together in the past. Um, so I'll, I'll be basically kind of directing traffic, I think. It sounds like it's going to be a really exciting night. Yes. What are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to just having it happen and, and have people realize how great the Escarpment Blues Society is going to be, and it's a really exciting time for all of us. And getting all of that, like Bob said, getting all these artists on stage yeah. in one night is a really special thing because mm. usually... As touring artists, you're never really together all under the same roof, unless it's a festival or something like that. So even, it's the even at a festival, you'd probably have to be there for two or three days right. That's right. to see that many uh, Really? Just artists. to catch that many artists? Yeah. 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 And it's the beginning, it's the launch, as we've said. So you've probably thought ahead to what the future holds for the Escarpment Blues Society. What can we look forward to? Uh, more shows um, and also promoting uh, somebody, even if it's not a, an official Escarpment Blue Society presents. We just want to make sure that musicians coming through town get that support and it's a w place for everybody to come and get together and go, what is happening in the community? And the Escarpment Blues Society will promote it. Love that. And you can come on this show yeah. and talk about it when it's happening. Mm -hmm. That's great. We have so many great artists just here in Hamilton that uh, would love a, an opportunity to perform. And, and we are a stopping point for other great artists that mm -hmm. are coming through, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. And that's one of our mandates as well, is to make sure that there's definitely support there for local artists, but also other artists that might not necessarily come to Hamilton. And if they do, we want to make sure that we can get the word out there and support them in a real way. Your Instagram is? Um, at Escarpment Blue yeah. Society, I think. Yeah. And then I've got tickets, 45 bucks, that's a great deal for all of these great yes. artists, mm. uh, at boxoffice at memorialarts.ca. Does that that's sound right. good? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Right. And if you're, a, if you're a member of the Blue Society, you get a 20% discount off that. Oh, price. are you going to make me do the math? <laughs> so um, it works out to thirty-nine dollars. It's thirty-nine dollars. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Plus, there's uh, HST, various things that they add on to that price. <laughs> As always. Yeah. Everybody's got to get their bill. Great night. It's going to be happening May twenty-eighth. Get your tickets at box office at memorialarts.ca. Thank you so Thank you, much. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Have a great Pleasure. night, and uh, I look forward to having you back to talk about the next stuff. Thanks for having us in. Thank you. After the break, Theater Aquarius's artistic and executive directors are both here with their 24-25 season lineup. Wow, more Hamilton Life coming up.